Okay, good morning to all of our friends in Harris County and beyond, and welcome to our Saturday Summer Reading Programming. I am very excited to be here today with Andy Rue for part two of our Tunes and Tales programming. In part two of Land Tales, we're going to sing and dance with our amazing terrestrial tales and follow Andy Rue on a musical journey through forests, deserts, and jungles. For our program today, please feel free to ask Andy any questions that you like or answer Andy Rue's questions in the chat. And without further ado, all the way from the Andy Rue universe, I present Andy Rue. Take it away, Andy. Hello, thanks, Brian. Oh, it's good to see everybody today. That's right, today is all about land tales. So we're going to look at some of the tales that we made a few days ago. And we're also going to play some songs today about being outside. We're even going to make some songs with those land tales that we made last time. So just to, if you missed us last time, we made three different tales. We made a lion tale. And the lion tail is really cool because it has a black tassel on the end of it. So if the lion is going through the tall grass, all of his friends can follow him. If they're going hunting, for example, or if they're moving to a different place, they can follow the black tassel on the end of the lion's tail. We also made a snake. And this is our snake. And it's a rattlesnake. So you can see we have a little rattle on the end of it here. And these purple uh, straps that you're seeing, these are actually for our arm. So we put the snake on our arm just like this. And you can tape it on there and then slither along. So I'll show you how to do that later too. And the last tail that we made was a peacock tail. So we made a fan and this one goes on the top of your arm like this. So you can see if my hand is the head of the peacock. There's my peacock tail right there, the beautiful feathers. And you can draw your little uh, eye decorations on the peacock tail right there. So you see that? So that's what we were working on last time. We made some different tails. And if you want to make a tail with us today, we are going to remake the lion tail. It's very easy to make. You'll need a piece of paper, uh, try to find a crayon. If you have a, or a black marker that you can use for the tassel. And if you have a little bit of tape, you can use some tape. And if you have a um, scissors so that you can cut this. So tape, scissors. If you don't have tape, you can always use uh, glue too. A black crayon and paper. So if you need a minute to find those supplies, if you want to make a tail with us, you can do that. But first, we're going to start with a song called Today. Here we go. One. Now, when you hear me say today, clap twice like this. Today. 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 Today is the day we will go outside and play. Just like that. Here we go. One, two, a oh, one, two, three, today, 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 clap, clap, today, today is the day we will go outside and play. Today, 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 today is the day we will go outside and play. We had a lot of fun yesterday. And I hope we will have fun tomorrow. But today is today, so let's have some fun right now. Here we go, get ready. One, two, three, today. Today, clap, clap, today. Today, today is the day we will go outside and play. That's today, today, today. Today, today is the day we will go outside and play. We had a lot of fun yesterday, and I hope we will have fun tomorrow. 
But today is today, so let's have some fun right now. Here we go. Today, 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 today. Today is the day we will go outside and play. That's today, 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 today. Clap, clap. Today is the day we will go outside and play. Here we go, one more time. Today, yeah. Okay, so now if you're ready, We'll make our tail. This is going to be our little friend, the lion tail. So let me set my guitar down here. And the first thing you'll need is, you just need one piece of paper for this. So I'm going to use this brown paper. I had some brown paper handy. But you can use any color you like. Next, you can take your crayon or your marker and you're going to count down. Maybe you can take your fingers and put them on the paper like this. And at the end of your hand, just make a little mark so that we draw a line across the paper. And it should look like that. So you can see it's not, this, this would be about halfway down the paper, so it's about a quarter of the way. One, two, three, four, probably about a quarter of the way down the paper. So if you draw a line, the next thing to do is to color it in. And we're going to color it like this, going, going up. Okay? So let's shade it in. There we go. This is so much fun. I love crayons. I love coloring. Our friend the lion, as we were saying, has a black tassel at the end of his tail so that his friends can follow him. Sometimes you might see, um, if you go to a city like New York City, for example, you might see there's like a big tour going on and there's a tour uh, group and they don't want to get lost. And there might be somebody holding up a big flag so that everybody knows where the tour is. Well, that's kind of like what the tassel on the lion's tail is. It's holding up a little flag to let everybody know, hey, this is where we're going. Here we go. So we'll color that in. And the darker you can color it in, the darker your tassel's going to be. And we can do the other side, too. So if we go to the other side, look at where you drew your line. Draw another line on the other side. And we'll color that one in. Are you making a tail with us today? Let us know in the chat. Say hello. Let us know if you're out there making a tail with us today. And if you know any lion facts that you want to share with us, you can add those to the chat too. Do, 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 do. Coloring in the tassel. Did you know that you can hear a lion's roar from five miles away? Wow. Think about that. Hmm. I wonder, some of you might live uh, about five miles away from school. So think about that. If you take the bus or if somebody gives you a ride to school, um, if it's a five-mile trip, you can go all the way from your house all the way to school and you could hear a lion roar, roar. That would be really cool if, if, um, if our parents could roar like that. <laughs> so if you forgot your lunch or something, they could say, roar, you forgot your lunch at home. And then you would know, oh, okay, I can stop looking for my lunch because I forgot it. Or maybe if you were at school and you could roar like that, like a superpower, maybe 
maybe you could roar to your parents, I forgot my lunch, roar. <laughs> Let us know if you would like to be able to roar like that. Could you roar like a lion? That would be an interesting superpower. Okay, so now we have this piece of paper. We've drawn on both sides. We have our tassel. All right, I see Lorena's making a tail today. Hey, Lorena. So now that we, we have our piece of paper, we can just start rolling it up like this. Just roll it into a cylinder shape. So it looks like this, it stands up. So your tassel is on the top and then the rest of the tail is right here. Okay. So let's see, you can see this. See that? Yeah, lions rest around 20 hours a day. That's a good fact. And they have very sharp teeth. So after we've rolled up our tail, and you can make it bigger if you want, or a little bit smaller. Might make mine a little bit smaller. Then you can add tape or glue to your tail. I'm just going to use a little bit of tape today. Let's see, and I'll tape it on the bottom. Like that. And somewhere in the middle, too. But I won't tape the end because I don't want to get tape on my tassel. Okay. So a couple of little pieces of tape to hold on to it. And then you can squish the tassel like that and get your scissors. And now we're going to cut all the way. We're going to take our scissors and we're going to cut all the way to the line right here. Okay. So we'll go just like this. Let me show you. Do a couple of cuts. There we go. So you can see I cut all the way to the line. And you can see it starting to turn into a tassel. So let's keep cutting. Be careful not to cut the smaller parts of the tassel off. Just keep on cutting. You can go slowly to make sure. Your tassel is OK. <laughs> oh, I like it when you share your lion facts with us. It's so fun. There we go. Oh, isn't that nice? Look at this one. So you can see this is the, the tassel for the lion. So if, if I, uh, let's pretend like my table here is the tall grass and you can see the, the tassel going by. So this is our, our friend, the lion running by. So if he was running, it would sound like this. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Roar. Okay, so that's your, that's your tassel. Now the cool thing about this tail is that if you wanna play along with me today, uh, using your tail, you can play it like a drum, like this. <laughs> so you could make another one if you want to, and then you'd have two drumsticks, like this tail. This is the one I made last time. We have two. I am a lion. <laughs> Ooh, we should do a lion song today. That would be fun. And if you play the tassels together, that's really fun too. Or if you if you want to tickle your friends. <laughs> Maybe sneak up on your mom and dad, tickle their ear with the tassel of the lion's tail. That would be fun too. So a lot of things you can do with these. Um, I also added an armband to mine. So it's just a little piece of paper. And the way you do that 
is you take the end of your tail, so take the end of it, and you can find another piece of paper. And it doesn't have to be a fancy piece of paper. It could be any color. I'm going to use a purple one. And just cut a little armband. So let's see. I probably need a bigger armband than you do. Let me cut my armband here. See, so there's my armband. It fits around my arm. Find a good place for it. There we go. That's going to work great. And next, we'll put it on the tail. Now, you could glue this to the tail, or it might take a little bit longer to set when you glue it, or you can tape it. So I'm going to tape mine today. There we go. So we have our armband taped to the tail. Almost starts to look like a different animal, doesn't it? <laughs> like almost like uh, if we made this kind of frilly, it could turn into a catfish or something. This paper was wider. That's fun. So we'll take the, the armband and we'll put it on our arm. Might need a little bit of extra tape for this. And if you have a friend who can help you put the armband on or a family member, that's really helpful because it can get a little tricky, this part. But there we go. Once it's on your arm, now you have your lion's tail and you have your lion's mouth. So you can go running around. Roar! Roar! The lion tail. Roar! <laughs> there we go so now you have a lion tail today and we can do a song so i started we started working on a song last time and it got me thinking about our friend the lion so i wrote down a few things and let's see the things i wrote down so we have a, the black tassel we have um, a, a lion also lives in a pride of about 40 lions. So that's really interesting. They're really social animals. And we can hear the roar from five miles away. So this is uh, a lion song that we came up with. Maybe you can, um, you can come up with a name for our lion today. So if you want to share in the chat, a name for a lion. Let let me know. Yeah, another fun fact: lions are cats. That's right. So they're just they're a bigger cat than the ones that you might have at home or that your friends might have. But a lion is a a big cat. And here we go. This is uh this is the lion song. <laughs> You can hear me roar from five miles away I run through the grasslands and plains I have a tassel on my tail that is black It tells you where to find me And wherever I go, wherever I roam You can find a pride of friends behind me I'm a lion, roar! I'm a lion, roar! Roar with me, here we go, ready? I'm a lion, roar! I'm a lion, roar! I'm a lion, roar! <laughs> there we go. So there's a little song about our friend, the lion. That was fun.
<laughs> well, next up, another little uh, land tail friend of ours is the caterpillar. Now, we didn't make a caterpillar today, but you know what a caterpillar looks like. They're little and fuzzy. Sometimes they're, they're green. What color caterpillars have you seen before? Maybe you can share with us in the chat. And a caterpillar turns into something. Do you know what a caterpillar turns into? Well, if you listen to this song, you'll find out. Here we go. And if you want to sing along with me, you'll sing along just like this. Caterpillar, caterpillar, just like that. Caterpillar, caterpillar. I walked down the street and I saw a butterfly. We talked about her wings. They were red and blue and yellow too. And the butterfly said to me, Do you know who I used to be? Do you know who I used to be? I was a, a caterpillar, a caterpillar. That's right. A caterpillar, a caterpillar. Sing with me. Caterpillar, a caterpillar. Oh, yeah. A caterpillar, a caterpillar. We talked about her life, of when she was a caterpillar. She ate many leaves, and she climbed around on many trees. And when it was cold outside, she needed a place to hide. She crawled into a cocoon, and when she came out, she was brand new. She was a, a butterfly, a butterfly. Flap your wings. A butterfly, a butterfly. That's right. A butterfly, a butterfly, oh yeah, a butterfly. That's the story of the, the caterpillar, 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 the caterpillar. Yeah, so our little friend the caterpillar turns into a butterfly or a moth, too. Some of the caterpillars turn into moths. So our friend goes from the land tail to all of a sudden being able to fly and being up in the sky, in the air. <laughs> oh, one of our friends said they've seen a yellow caterpillar before. Wow, that's really cool. Yeah, the, the one that is in the Andy Runiverse, Pilar, Pilar the caterpillar. She is a green caterpillar. Now, if you like to dance, this next song is for you. So if you want to get up and shake your tail, here we go. This one is called Get Up. It's time to get up, get up, and move around, move around. It's time to get up, get up, and make your get up sound. Ooh. Put on your get up, and go to town. Get up, get out, so you can get down. 
It's time to get up, get up. And clap your hands. Clap, 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 clap. It's time to get up, hey. And do your get up dance. Do your get up dance. Put on your get up. And take a stance. Get up. Believe in yourself and take a chance. Let me see you get up. Hey, get up, get up, get up. Up, 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 get up. Up, up. Put on your get up, get up, and take a stance. Get up, believe in yourself, because you can. Here we go. Get up, 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 get
all of those feathers and their feathers are called a train and the train can be up to six feet long isn't that amazing six feet long so maybe you have uh, somebody in your household who's six feet tall. If you took a peacock's feathers and put them on the, the ground and held them up, they would go, they would be just as tall as somebody at your house that's six feet tall. Or if you're under six feet tall, the feathers would be taller than you, right? Um, so that, that's a really fun fact. And it takes up 60% of the peacock's body would be the feathers. So really, really cool. The, um, they don't, they're not born with the feathers, but by around age three is when they start to appear. And the uh, male peacocks use their beautiful feathers to impress the female peacocks for, um, for mating every season. And they shed their, their uh, train of feathers after every mating season. So every single year, they want to have a new outfit to get out there and dress to impress. <laughs> and that's our friend, the peacock. So we wrote a little song for our friend, the peacock. If you want to make one of these, put this right here during our song. Oh, we had some more lion names come in. These are good. We have three liony. Sparky and Cash. Those are all great. Liony the Lion. Liony the Lion. Let's do that. Liony the Lion. That sounds nice. If we had Sparky, Sparky would be a faster one, right? Sparky the Lion. And then Cash. What would Cash be? Cash is kind of cool. Cash the Lion. <laughs> so you can hear how every name has a different kind of personality for the songs, for the lions. That's nice. I like those names. Maybe you can come up with a name for our peacock friend next. I think last time we said Peter the Peacock. That was pretty good. Let's see. Here's our peacock song. Oh, one of the other facts that I, I didn't mention is that they roost up in a tree. So roosting is like when they want to sleep or rest. So they'll go up in the trees to do that. And when they make a nest, they'll actually build their nests on the ground. So that's a really interesting fact. If you build your nest on the ground, but then you sleep up in the tree. <coughs> and so this is our song about our friend, the peacock. I'm a peacock and I can fly, but I can't fly very high in the sky. When I roost, I roost up in a tree, but when I build my nest, the ground is the best place for me. I'm a peacock, I'm a peacock, I'm a peacock, oh yeah, I'm a peacock. <laughs> there we go. So our little friend, the peacock. Now, if you uh, have a name for our peacock, let me know in the chat and in the comments. Let us know. So much fun. Now, this, uh, this next song is all about three things that I like to do in the world around me. So I like to explore the world. I like to imagine the world. So imagine what the world could be. And I like to make, I like to make things. So I like to make our little puppets here. I like to make people happy. 
I like to make songs. So what are the, some of the things that you like to make in the world? How do you make the world a better place? So we explore, imagine, and make. This song is called The World Around You. Here we go. and paste someone else show off your smile to everyone you meet and always dance a dance to your own beat explore the world around let your family and friends surround you. Get together, cheer along. Ra, 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 ra. Look up in the air. Hey, look, there's a peacock over there. Listen to the birds. And when you speak, be sure to use kind words. Smell all the flowers. Taste all the foods. Play all the games, win or lose. Explore the world around you. Let your family and friends surround you. Get together, cheer along. Ra, 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 ra. Here we go, we're going to imagine. Imagine the world around you. It's a place that you belong to. Write a song and sing along. La, 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 la. All right, get ready to make. Here we go. Make the world around you a happy place that will astound you. Tell a joke and laugh along. Ha, 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 ha. Laugh with me. Here we go. Ready? Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. <laughs> there we go. The world around you. It's always good to explore, imagine, and make the world around you a better place. Oh, it looks like we have some more peacock names. We have Big Tail. That's good. Big Tail. And <laughs> I like this one. Peacocky. Peacocky the peacock. That's fun. So Big Tail would be... Um, so we had before our peacock song was I'm a peacock. So Peacocky would be like... Uh, maybe like that. Peacocky the peacock can fly, but peacocky can't fly very high in the sky. <laughs> that one's fun. And then we have a uh, big tail. Big tail would be, uh, sounds like. Um, Big Tail is like a folk, like a folk song, like, um, let me tell you a tale about our friend Big Tail, the peacock. So we could say, 
Big tail the peacock can fly. But the big tail the peacock can't fly very high. When he roosts in the tree, he likes to look out around the forest. And you know what he sees? He sees his nest on the ground. <laughs> yeah, so we get it, we could workshop that one, make that a fun like folk song about big tail, sort of like a spaghetti western. Big tail, big tail. <laughs> That's a lot of fun. Good name, big tail the peacock. I like it. Okay, uh, this next one, let's see. We're going to do another animal song. This one has a lot of different animals in it. And we have a lot of animals in the Andy Runiverse. I mentioned Pilar the caterpillar. We also have Sai the sloth. Sai doesn't have a tail, but Sai dwells in the trees and moves very slowly in slow motion. Can he move? Can he move in slow motion like this? Ooh. Ooh. Can wave. Hello. <laughs> So we have a lot of different animals in the Andy Runiverse, and we have those animals in this next song. So this is the animal song. And if you know the sound of the animal, when you hear me count to three, you can make the sound with me. So for example, one of our land tail friends, the cat. What does a cat sound like? Meow. We'll go one, two, three, meow, 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 like that, okay? Here we go. I am a duck. I swim upon the pond. I kick my feet, but I am calm. I am a duck. Quack, quack, quack. Can you quack like a duck? One, two, three, quack, quack, quack. I am a cat. I like to scratch the couch. I hunt for mice under the house. I am a cat. Meow, meow, meow. Can you meow like a cat? One, two, three. Meow, meow, meow. I am a dog. I bark all night long. I sing my barking song. I am a dog. Woof, 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 woof. Can you woof like a big dog? One, two, three. Woof, woof, woof. Another land tail. There are so many animals you see. And we're all friendly, so please don't, 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 don't be mean. I am a snake, I slither in the grass, I shake my rattle when I'm mad, I am a snake. Can you slither like a snake? One, two, three. I am a sloth. I move really slow. I only have three toes. I am a sloth. <sighs> Can you sigh like a sloth? Here we go, ready? One, two, three. Oh. 
This next one's another one of our land tales. A worm. I am a worm. I am so slippery. I live in mud under a tree. I am a worm. Inch, inch, inch. Can you inch like an inch worm? One, two, three. Inch, inch, inch. <laughs> There are so many animals you see, and we're all friendly, so please don't, 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 don't be mean. La da 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 da, la da 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 da. Yeah. Why don't you tell us some of your favorite land animals today? Let us know in the comments. So many different animals out there. And, uh, this next one we're going to look at is our friend, the rattlesnake. Remember I told you we made a rattlesnake? Well, this was our, our snake body. And you can see right now it looks like it has purple legs. But that's because these purple legs are the arm straps. So let me put this snake on my arm. Show you what it looks like. So I'm going to tape this on here. Now, if you want to learn how to make this snake, in the last video that we did, the last show, you can look it up on the Harris County Public Library's Facebook page, and you can see how to make the uh, snake. It's really easy. It only takes a couple pieces of paper. The hard part is putting it on your arm like this. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so now I have my snake. See that? <laughs> so my, my uh, hand is the head of a snake. Now, rattlesnakes, they have a, a triangular head. They're usually around three to five feet long. Okay, so think about how tall are you? Maybe you can ask your parents, how tall am I? If you're less than five feet tall, then this snake could be your entire body. Wow, isn't that crazy? We don't really realize it though because they coil up. So a lot of times when they're, they're sleeping, they'll be coiled up. And if we have this snake right here, you can see I also added a little rattle tail. Now, the cool thing about the rattlesnake tail is that it doesn't have any beads inside of it or anything. There's nothing in it like if you've ever seen an egg shaker where it has a bunch of little beads or rice or beans or things inside of it that you can shake and hear it. It actually doesn't have those things. It's just the uh, protein that the tail is made out of, which is keratin. And keratin, you're going, Andy Rue, what is keratin? Well, keratin's actually the same thing that your fingernails are made out of. So if you look at your fingernails, your fingernails are made out of the same material as the rattlesnake tail. And so it's just a couple of different layers of keratin that when the tail shakes, they rub against each other. So they click together <laughs> and they make that sound, the rattle sound. So I thought that was really neat. So you have this rattlesnake tail. And um, we made the snake body. We made the tail. And then we glued the tail to the snake. And now you can see I could slither around like this. Whoa. And it's two colors. So if I hold it right here, you can see it's brown. If I hold it this way, it's orange. And then if you can see the, the stripes like that. Isn't that fun? And it makes a little bit of sound, kind of like a rattle sound. If you wanted to, you could add some things to the tail, like um, like rice or something, like a little packet or a sugar packet, for example, and make the, the tail rattle a little more, too. But that is your snake. Let's see, maybe I can keep it on while I play the next song. Let's see, this is going to be our rattlesnake song. <laughs> so our little friend, the snake, we came up with a good uh, name last time, if you want to share Oh, we've got some um, we've got some comments here for some of our favorite uh, animals, and uh, we have. Let's see. The library said 
And look at this. The library's favorite animal is the bookworm. Yeah, the bookworm. Oh, that's great. Always reading those wonderful books. Make sure you stop by the library this summer. Stop by Harris County Public Library branches and get a book so you can be just like your little friend, the bookworm. And Lorena says the snake and chipmunks are her favorite. Wow, yeah, those are cool. So let's uh, let's listen to this uh, rattlesnake song. We started kind of working on one last time. We had a name um, that we came up with, which was kind of fun. Snake bite the snake. <laughs> snake bite the snake. So. Um, if you have if you have a name for our snake today that you want to share, um, let us know. Let us know some snake names. Snake, and I like to shake my rattle every day. It goes, ch -ch 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 -ch. I'm three to five feet long, and my tail is made of keratin, just like your fingernails. Ch -ch 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 -ch. I can shake, oh, I can shake, I can shake it almost 60 times per second i'm a snake a rattlesnake i'm a rattlesnake and i like to shake my rattle every day it goes i'm three to five feet long and my rattle is made of carrots and it goes Keratin is the same material as your fingernails. And your hair is made of keratin too. Whoa. So if you want to be like me, a rattlesnake like me, just shake it. Shake it the way that you do. Here we go. I'm a snake. Oh, rattlesnake. I'm a snake. A rattlesnake. <laughs> All right. So it's our little friend, the rattlesnake. <laughs> oh, we've got a couple more names. A couple favorite animals. Um, Matthew says a giraffe is his favorite animal. That's cool. Giraffes, yeah, they have. Um, if you look at a picture of a giraffe, you might think their tail is really short, but it's actually pretty long. It's like over three feet long. It's just that they're so big that it makes their tail look small. And Matthew also says favorite, uh, oh, his name for the snake is Venom. Yeah, Venom the snake. That would be a good one. Venom the snake likes to shake his rattle every day. It goes ch -ch 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 -ch. That's a good one. Yeah, Venom the snake. Awesome. Well, keep those names coming. We have um, another one here. Let's do, this one is called Summertime. This is my favorite time of year, the summer. I love the summer. What are some of your favorite things to do in the summertime? We just had a big summer holiday. We had uh, Independence Day on the 4th of July. And you see those beautiful fireworks in the air. Do you like fireworks? Well, this song is about some of the things I love about summer. Here we go. Wake up. It's summertime. And grab your buck gear. Let's build a sand castle to the sky. Oh, I love the summertime. Building castles with my friends. 
Oh, I love the summertime. I hope this summer never ends. Swim soon in flip flops. I feel the sand between my toes. Ice cream and palm trees, blue water and a breeze in the summertime. Oh, I love the summertime. Ice cream melting on my friends. <laughs> Oh, I love the summertime. I hope this summer never ends. I hope it never ends. I hope it never ends. I hope it never ends. No, no. Sun's low, it's time to go to the park and watch the show. Fireworks, gold and blue, I see the stars and I feel the boom of the summertime. Oh, I love the summertime. Moonlight smiling with my friends. Oh, I love the summertime. I hope this summer never ends. I hope it never ends. I hope it never ends. Yeah, thank you so much, everybody. It's been so wonderful playing for you today. Thank you, Harris County Public Library, for having me. And remember, this year we're celebrating the centennial celebration. It's the 100-year anniversary, 100-year birthday of Harris County Public Library. Wow, a hundred years. Think about how many books have been written in a hundred years. Isn't that incredible? Think about all those books that have been written and that have made their way to the library and then you've gone to the library and checked them out and read them at home and brought them back and then other people have checked them out. It's incredible. A hundred years of people dreaming up amazing stories, writing them down, sharing them with the world, and the rest of us getting to read them and sharing them with each other. So I hope that you take some time to enjoy the library this summer, and it's been wonderful playing for you today. So we're going to bring back our friend Brian from the Harris County Public Library. Hi, Andy. Hey, Brian. Thank Thank you so much for a wonderful program. And you know, 100 years is also a lot of birthday candles to blow out. Can you imagine how big the cake is going to have to be for 100 candles? That's a lot of candles. So, That's going to be a lot of candles. Cake. It's a big cake. Exactly. Well, we were dancing and clapping here at the library. And I hope you guys were all doing the same at home. We're right in the middle of summer reading. So there is still plenty of time if you haven't started yet. Go to the library, get some library books, log your points, and get your prizes. We have amazing prizes. All of our branches are open and ready for you to come visit and get some books checked out. So I want to thank everybody again so much for joining us today. Thank you all of our viewers from Harris County, and thank you for all of our viewers outside of Harris County, maybe even in Georgia. Wow, that's pretty wow. far away. We're so glad you joined us, and we hope to see you again soon for our next program. 
Bye, everybody. Bye.